okay so welcome back to this channel so in our previous video we have successfully uh, get all the products for the admin and we have also protected the admin routes on the front end okay so now i have created a separate account for the admin if i go to my database you can see that i have here gulam1 at gmail.com which is normal user and i have admin at gmail.com which is the uh, which has all admin okay so we can easily test both the users so in my previous video i have successfully get all the products and display that in the admin dashboard here you can see that so now in this video i have to create the new product from the front end and save that in the database uh, we also have to protect that uh, endpoint on the back end okay we also have to make sure that the user role is admin all right so let's go to first of all to the back end i go and also one thing we have to handle here is that if we go to middleware i have type here turn is equal to true which is wrong if i go back just to show you uh, if you click here logout uh, if i and then i go to slash me you can see that here we get this error because we are not getting redirect to the login page okay and because we have type here true so we have to type here false save it and now if i go back and load this page now i can go to the login page uh, with the callback url okay so i will simply log in here and now i can go to that page okay, if i log out i will go to the login page all right so now let's first of all go to the back end uh, I go in the controllers in the product controllers we already have here our endpoint for the new product we just have to save the user ID in the product okay so I will simply type here request dot body dot user is going to be request dot user dot underscore ID okay we also have to save the user ID in the product and let me just make sure that we have a user field in the product so I go to the product.js model and we have here uh, I think so we don't have here the user okay so we also have to add here the user ID okay so that is going to be a user field okay so I will simply type here type that is going to be mongoose dot schema dot types dot object ID okay and then for the reference I will use here user and then I will type here required uh, is going to be false simply save it and make sure to restart the server because we have updated our model so now we have a user field in our model we also have to save the user id in that like this and it will add the user id in the body and we will pass request.body in this create function that will create the product and save that in the database okay so let's close this from here now let's go to our pages and then in the pages in the api let's create a new folder for the admin so in the api create a new folder admin okay and in the admin i create a new folder that is called products okay so in the products i create my file that is called index.js so my route is going to be slash api slash admin slash product and that is going to be a, a post route okay um so what i will do here is i will simply for example copy this from here and i put that here now I, this is going to be protected route and that is going to be a post because we have to post the data and that is going to be new product okay i remove that from here okay i will use here on error save it and uh, let me just go here in the product in the index you don't have to use that here simply save it and also remove this from here because this is a admin route and now uh, only logged in user can post a product but we want only the admin to post a product okay so we have to authorize the role all right so for that i will go to my um, backend in the middleware in the auth i create a new function here that will handle that okay so i will type here const that is going to be authorize roles okay so with this we can authorize our roles so in that i will simply pass in here the roles so i will get that here so i will simply type here return request response and then the next okay so in that i will simply check that if not roles dot includes okay and we have to pass in here the request dot user dot role this means that this user is not uh, the admin or any other role okay so again we will simply pass the roles in the authorized role okay and then we will simply check that if this roles 
uh, because we can have multiple roles here we make sure that if that roles array doesn't contain the user role this means that this user is not authorized okay we simply have to return the error from here so i will simply type here return uh, next in that i will simply uh, use here my error handler in that i will simply type here that role request dot user dot role is not allowed to access this resource okay and i can simply put that in the bracket just to highlight that okay so again we can pass multiple roles in here in the authorized roles we will simply check that if that roles array doesn't contain the user role this means that user is not authorized to access that so after this if we also have to uh, call the next to move on toward the next middleware simply save it now we have to simply export that from here and use that save it and now i go here and i use here second uh, middleware that is going to be authorized roles okay in that i have to pass in here the roles so i have only one role here that is going to be admin you can pass more here if you want if you have multiple roles okay so now it will first of all make sure that user is authenticated okay then it will make sure that user is admin and then it will allow us to post the product so in this way we can protect our routes from the unauthorized users so now let's go to our front end and post a product i simply go in the components in the admin create a new file that is called new product.jsx okay i simply go back to my chrome and here i have my new product.jsx in the admin in admin folder okay so here i have simply uh, an array of categories and you can put that also in the separate file of like constants or categories whatever you have but i put that here after that i have a simple form here that has fields like name description price and for the categories i have used here the drop down menu which is select and i have loop through on all categories and display the options one by one like this which is pretty simple and then I have the other fields as well. Simple a form. So I copy that from here. Go back and I put that here. Okay. And we don't need here sidebar because we already have added that in our um, layout. Okay. So I will simply remove that from here and save it. Now let's first of all go to our app in the admin. Okay. So in the product, I get a new folder here that is called new. In that I create a file that is called page um, dot gsx. Okay, I go here and what I will do here is I copy that and I put that here, and we don't need that here. Okay, and that is going to be like new product page and we have to call here the component that is going to be new product okay so new product like this simply save it and now let's go to our chrome and if i go here and click on new product you can see that here now we are on the slash admin slash products slash new and here we have our create new product form so product name product description price uh, seller slash brand stock and we have here categories okay from where we can select that okay so now we have our form here now let's collect the data and pass that to the back end so i simply go back so first of all i simply create here a state variable that is going to be product so that is going to be set product that is going to be use state okay so in that i first of all have here the name of the product then I have here the description okay so I have here the name description seller price stock and categories okay and I also have to import here the use state save it and now I have to you create here a on change okay so for that I will simply type here const uh, on change okay in that i will simply type here um set product okay and now i will simply first of all type here remember that this is an object okay so i will what i will do is i will simply uh, spread whatever in the product okay then i have to set the value 
So you have to set here key and then the value. So key is going to be name of the field and then the value is going to be value. So I will simply type here e dot target dot name and the value is going to be e dot target dot value. Okay. Remember that each field has a name and value. Okay. So we will simply uh, put the name here and then the value of that and uh, whatever in the program we will spread that here. Okay, so now we have to use this on change on all fields. So I scroll down and after the name we also have to put here the value that is going to be name and then on change. Okay, so that is going to be on change like this. Oops. Alright, uh, we have to also pull out uh, the const product we have to pull out all the values name and then we have here the category okay so now i will simply copy that from here and use that on the description in the same way i will use on the price and for the category i will put that here and then i have here the this and i have here the stock so the value is going to be stock, value is going to be seller, then value is going to be category, okay, then the price, and then the description. Save it. And now we have to create have our own submit handler. So I will simply type here const on submit. I will simply First of all, prevent default. So e dot uh, prevent default, and then I have to uh, uh, log here the product. Okay, so now I have to call that submit handler on the form. So that is going to be on submit on submit. That is going to be um, submit handler. um let's call it submit handler like this save it and now let's test it out i simply go back just put in here some gibberish if i go to the inspect on the console if i click here create product all right so we have to use here the use client first of all because we have used here hooks save it and now um if i type here something gibberish okay click on create product and we have here the name description um category price and all that stuff okay so now we have our values here and now we have to pass these values on the back end okay so uh and also these fields are required you can see that here and before that let's list, uh, replace this class with the class name so i will simply type here class with class name okay so i will simply save it okay so now we have to create our um uh, uh, product context so i create a new file here that is going to be product context dot js okay so what i will do here is i will simply copy this from here and i put that here okay and i will remove all the code from here okay and keep one function here only so first of all that is going to be um the product context okay and i will remove all that from here so and then we have here this so that is going to be product provider okay so i don't need here this user field i need here error loading and update it as well okay and then i use here router and now we have to get all the uh, create a new function here okay so i will simply create here a um, new product so new product in that i will simply pass in here my product that i will have in my component so that is going to be slash api slash admin 
okay and then slash products and that is going to be a post route and in the body i will pass in here the product okay so i will type here that if data then i will simply push uh, router dot replace to slash admin slash products okay and if there's any error i will simply set that error here and now i have to put that new product right in here simply save it okay and we also have to wrap um global provider okay so i will simply type here product provider okay and i will put that after that right here save it and now um if i go to my component here i can get that here okay so that is going to be const um new product that is going to be use context okay and then i will simply pass in here the product context okay so i will simply copy this function from here and i paste that here now i will pass that in the uh, uh details to this new product function save it and now if i go back to this page now let's create one product so I type here product six also put that here let's type here 12 cameras temp like this for the stalker type here 10 okay so now if i click here create product so now we have here six products if i go to the page number three now you can see that here i have this product six and if i just go here go to the page number three i have here the product six okay so we will uh, upload the images of this product in our next video so now we have successfully um created the route uh, to create the product from the front end from this uh, form and also we have protected our uh, route from the uh, unauthorized users on the back end okay so if you have any question related to this video you can post that in the comment section i will try my best to respond there so in my next video i will first of all uh, handle this upload images we have to get all the images from the front end and then we have to pass that to the back end and that will upload the images to the cloudinary and give us back the urls that we will save in the product okay so i hope that you understand and also if i log out from here now let's log in with the a normal user account login now that user cannot access those protected routes if i type here this you can see that i am redirected back to the home page if i type here slash admin slash products slash new i am moved back to the home page so in my next video i will handle my upload images